E27 is a startup ecosystem platform where our mission is actually to empower entrepreneurs with the tools to build and grow their own companies. So what we basically do is we help founders with the problems in relation to information, talent, funding and customers so that the likelihood of their startup succeeding is much, much higher because we genuinely believe that startups can make the world a better place. So I, I've been interested in tech since I was like 14, 15, right? I think it really started with the, the movie Matrix uh, and that was like the turning point for me for tech. Uh, so I dabbled with coding first in the in initial days. Uh, I was very much interested in hardware, so I started building my own computers at the age of 16, you know, selling them to friends that wanted gaming systems, and then slowly getting into networking, programming, and study engineering. Uh, and, and that's kind of like where it all led to, right? Uh, in university, I, I particularly took a in deeper interest in uh, business models and the business side of tech companies. And that's where, like I mentioned earlier, the NUS Overseas College was very handy for me. So I was fortunate to be part of the NUS Overseas College program. That was back in 2006. Uh, and I was like really lucky to do it in the hub of tech globally in Silicon Valley. Uh, so I was working for a startup back then. I was the very first employee. Um, you know, Facebook's office was just around the corner from where we worked. Uh, and that was my first foray. And then when I came back, uh, I was lucky to be part of uh, NUS Enterprises uh, tech startup programs that they had on campus. And it started from events, uh, it started from networking sessions, and then from there we built up uh, E27 to where it is today. So like, like a ton of challenges, right? I think for us, we want to really impact the ecosystem. Uh, and the hardest part for us is that because a lot of what we do is very offline driven, sometimes we might not be able to reach out to the entrepreneur on the ground or the entrepreneur who's working at his home, you know, building the next big thing, right? So one of the key things that we've been trying to do is to figure out how can we scale and reach out to our audience and customer base uh, in a much more organic uh, way online. So we've been spending a lot more time building uh, our services online uh, so that many, many more entrepreneurs can use these platforms and, and use them to help their companies. Uh, so the, 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 the people that really inspire me are really the founders that you know, are really starting out, the, the underdogs really, right? These are the guys that are working on something that people believe will go nowhere or they haven't gotten the validation or their friends or family you know, are, are saying that hey, they're, they're not you know, spending the, their time doing the right thing, right? Uh, everyone has to start from somewhere. I mean, if you look at Grab, Gojek, Carousel, all of these guys started at a stage where whenever someone looked at it, they said that this couldn't be as big as you know, what they thought it could be. You know, so it's these dogs, that, underdogs that really uh, uh, inspire me. It's them working on their product, you know, hoping that it will be a life-changing billion dollar uh, thing that really inspires us. So it will definitely be Airbnb. Uh, I think the values that the, the company has, uh, the impact they've had on the world is, is amazing. Right? If you look at the world that we live in today, um, you know, everyone's afraid. There's a lot of uh, cultural differences, uh, issues locally with regards to immigrants or foreigners. Uh, but a company like Airbnb embraces people from different cultures. It allows you to open your home or go into a stranger's homes and you know, be engulfed in a completely different experience. So I, I really like what Airbnb is doing uh, and, and that would be the ideal company I would love to start.